Hi, and thank you for joining me today at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell here to give you financial tips and tricks as you go on your road to know your money better. So today is Two Minute Tip Tuesday, and I'm coming to you with a tip for the day. And it, I'm talking about the five things that people spend their money on that they really don't need to. And so our first thing is something that I'm guilty of but it's a guilty pleasure and that's coffee so a lot of people go to coffee shops every day or they will drive through the chain coffee location or sometimes you'll go to a restaurant and order coffee so what i used to do is i used to go to the same coffee shop every single day and spend about two dollars on a cup of coffee so two dollars a day for 30 days for an entire month that's $60 a month I was spending on coffee and so I decided you know what let me try to see how I can save some money and what I did was I went out I purchased a coffee pot it was about $15 or so and then I started actually purchasing the ground coffee from my favorite coffee shop and it was half of what I usually pay. So instead of me paying $60 a month for coffee, I was only paying around $30 a month for my coffee. So I saved $30 per month. And that helped. So I mean, I could take that $30 every month and put it in my savings or my emergency fund or whatever I'm, I'm saving for, or even splurge a little, get my nails done, do my hair, etc. So those things help and they add up. The second thing that people tend to spend a lot of money on is eating lunch out. So again, I was um, a culprit of that. I would eat out every single day, go to my favorite restaurant or go to the drive through or go to different places and get food. And this continued to be a problem because, of course, you're looking at your budget. You're spending $10 a day maybe on lunch, maybe more depending on where you live. And so $10 a day can add up. $10 a day for, about, you work about 20, 20 days a month. So $10 a day for 20 days a month, that's going to add up. That's $200 for the month that you're spending on lunch. Just lunch. Not dinner, not breakfast, lunch. <laughs> so my suggestion is to, you don't have to cut it out totally. Maybe reduce the times that you eat out for lunch to two times a week instead of five times a week or three times a week instead of five times a week. And then the other couple of days, you're going to do what I do is meal plan. So you're going to prep everything at home the night before so that you can make your lunch or have your lunch for the day. You can take a salad with grilled chicken or you can maybe have your leftovers from the dinner pre uh, the previous night or something like that. And that will help you save a lot of money every month. The third thing that people spend their money on is subscriptions or memberships. So again, I was a, <laughs> I was guilty of this. I would um, I had a membership at um, a reputable fitness club, but I wasn't going. I'm like, why am I paying these people? And it was like twenty nine, thirty dollars a month for this membership. And I got so busy. At first, I was going. You know, when you first join, you're like, yeah, I'm in the gym. I'm in the gym. And then after a couple of months, things happened. You know, I wasn't able to get there fast enough. And then instead of going there, I decided, oh, let me start walking. And so I would walk on my lunch break because that, you know, it saved me time. And then I was started to uh, get, there's, if you go to the Dollar Tree, your local dollar store, they sell, uh, if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, but they sell, or some of them sell, workout DVDs. Also, there are a ton of workout videos and instructions here on YouTube that you can also use for free. And it's just 
easier to go ahead and save your money. I know some people like to go to the gym and like to be around people. They like to get um, influenced. But if you're not using your membership, please, please cancel it, get your money back and go ahead and save that money and put it aside for a college fund or put it aside for something special, a trip, anything but paying that gym every month for a place that you're not even going. Now, the fourth thing that people spend their money on is extended warranties. You know how you go to your store, the store, and you buy like a new television or even if you buy headphones or um, any of those type of electronics or things that are in relation to electronics, the uh, customer rep, customer service rep always says, oh, did you want to get the extended warranty? It's like $9, $10. And sometimes it's necessary. Like for me, I, I do some things I will have to buy a extended warranty on because I know that they're going to break easily. However, not everything needs to get an extended warranty. Like your television, you're buying a 65 inch TV. I don't think that it should go out or there should be a problem within the next two years of that extended warranty if you're just now buying the television. So try to save your money and don't spend it on the extended warranty that they offer. Now, the fifth thing that we're going to come to is something that I did speak about before in another video. I will link it below in the comment section. However, it is overdraft fees. There are so many people that spend money or get money taken out of their accounts because of overdraft fees. I don't care if you're over two dollars, a dollar, a lot of banks will still charge you upwards of $35 for an overdraft fee because you were over your balance limit um, by just two dollars. So in order to alleviate that, of course, track your money, track your spending, track your account. But if you don't have the time to do that or you haven't taken the time, there's two things that you can do. First thing I want you to do is if you have had overdraft fees um, in the past month or so, take some time, go through your bank statement and maybe give your bank a call and find out if they're willing to forgive some of the some of those overdraft fees and sometimes they will and it's worth a try it's worth a try of saving yourself 25 35 dollars the second thing you can do is go ahead and set up an account with chime now no chime is not sponsoring this video but i do like to use chime because they do not have overdraft fees there's no fees at all and also you can manage your money better because you can look at your account and see how much is there and see how much you can pay also something that they're offering if you get direct deposit into your chime account they are offering a hundred dollar overdraft or overage allowance so if something does occur and you do need to go over your balance then it's they that hundred dollar little cushion is there for you if you do sign up for chime so those are the five things that people tend to spend their money on and don't really need to so try to make sure that you make those savings do not um, spend too much. Also make sure that you watch your spending. Make a list of what you're doing maybe on a weekly basis so that you can see exactly where you're spending your money and then once you make that list you can make those changes to your budget. So if this helped you, please go ahead and like it. Also share this video with your friends and family and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you can get more financial tips and tricks like this every Tuesday here on the Financial Spotlight. Thank you for joining me and have a great one.